Today, I will be making nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose is one of the main ingredients in smokeless gunpowder. For this reaction, I will be using 50% nitric acid, 98% sulfuric acid, and pure cotton, cotton balls. For the first step, I measured out 10 milliliters of my nitric acid and added it into a beaker. I got bored of adding it drop by drop into the cylinder, so I poured it in, but I managed to spill it. For the next step, I will be adding 20 milliliters of my concentrated sulfuric acid into the same beaker. Because the nitric acid contains water, remember to pour the sulfuric acid into the nitric. During this step, the acids will give off nitric acid vapors, so it may be a good idea to wear a respirator. I gave the acid mixture a good stir and put it in an ice bath to prevent a runaway reaction. The next step is to add the cotton. I will be using 1.75 grams of cotton. I added the cotton relatively slowly and made sure it absorbed the acid mixture. If all of the cotton has been nitrated into cellulose trinitrate, then this is the chemical equation that is happening. After all the cotton was added, I allowed the mixture to sit for about 10 minutes in the ice bath and then another 10 minutes at room temperature. After the reaction time is over, I neutralize the solution with water and baking soda. This is what the final product looks like after it has dried. I then decided to do a burn test of normal cotton cellulose that has been nitrated one time and then I did a second nitration on nitrocellulose to see if it would burn any better. Less residue is left with the second nitration. I decided to make a small, crude, homemade cannon to test the nitrocellulose as a propellant. I will be using a small foil ball as my projectile. I encased a small amount of nitrocellulose in aluminum foil and heated it over a candle, as you can see, to test to see if it would detonate. And as you will see here in a second, it did not. 